what if I don't know the Mm -hmm. trauma history of a certain child? And, you know, it was fascinating for us because we realized that one of the things we need to make very explicit in trauma-informed work, and this really directly connects to what Linda is saying, the the point of trauma-informed practice and to understand trauma as educators is never to diagnose a child, um, never to go to a place of, of assuming that a child's experience of trauma is the sum total of who that child is. And so you'll see that we make a very strong case for um, child first or person first language, Mm -hmm. Um, a child who has experienced trauma, a child who is impacted by trauma, but not a traumatized child because Mm -hmm. that represents the whole child. And we think, no, this is one part of a child. Um, We hope something that they will have enough support in early childhood and and later to build lots of resiliency and coping and even have beautiful strengths and gifts that come from that experience of um, being resilient from their trauma histories. But we know that the child has many parts to their lives and their families and who they are. 